Look at you. You made it. You're making this a regular thing every single week. I'm dropping new videos, new game. Thanks for tapping in. All right. We'll get a sip of this green tea. We're going to get right into the game. That's good shit. All right. So the ladies have been hitting me up saying, yo, we need some game too. So look, this is for the top 10% women in this world. All right. And why is this important? Because you need a partner to prosper. We got to break this gender war, war bullshit. I ain't with it. You know what I mean? Let's get into it. So ladies, look, the first type of man that you got to keep out of your mix is the dude with the Kanye persona with a Walmart budget. Kanye persona with a Walmart budget. So this will be a guy who uh, gives more fuck about what it looks like than what it really is. He, he trying to keep up with the Joneses, um, you know, that type of guy. So the Kanye persona with a Walmart budget is a dude who has so much bravado and all this other shit. And he's trying to keep up with everybody else. Not realizing the people you're trying to keep up with are people that really don't give a fuck about you in the beginning, in the end. You know what I'm saying? So don't even trip on them. So ladies, stay away from the guy who has a Kanye persona with a Walmart budget. It ain't got so much to do with the fact that he don't make that much money. It's the fact of the matter that um, he doesn't know how to um, hold on to his money. You dig? I'm going to tell you something. There's people that make a quarter million dollars a year and they're fucking broke as fuck at the end of every month. And there's a guy that's watching this right now who makes about 45, 50,000 a year, but his net value is higher than theirs because he lives below his means. Ladies, you want a guy who lives below his means, not above his means, okay? You gotta, um, you have to, and this is game for ladies and men, you have to know how to, um, you have to know how to just sit down and chill out before you start spending bread. You know what I mean? You don't want to just because you start making more money, you start believing in this vertical wealth shit and you start spending more bread. It's not a good thing. Number two, ladies, don't get with no professional baby daddy. You don't want the nigga that's the professional baby daddy. I'm not talking about the guy who has one kid, um, when he was younger, 19, 20, 21, 22. And that's okay. I don't really see nothing wrong with that. I never did that shit, but whatever. I mean, that's the norm. But I'm talking about the dude who has three different baby mamas, two different baby mamas. And it's not like he married any of them. He didn't marry any of them. He didn't really commit to them. Um, my community has this problem of commitment. We're so easy to commit having raw sex with somebody and having a kid with them before we'll marry him. It's fucked up, ass backwards. So unless you want to be baby mama, baby mama number four, I would suggest you get away from these baby daddy ass niggas. You understand what I'm saying? So keep away from them. That nigga is just overly fertile for no reason. He don't know how to turn his, he don't know how to put a condom on for shit. Niggas like that, I'm pretty sure could fuck the shit out of you. But if you want to be baby mama number four, you watching the wrong damn podcast, wrong damn YouTube channel, because we talking about boss type women. I'm talking about women that want to be, um, want to build some shit, not the EBT queens. You dig? You the EBT queens? It's other channels for that, not here. Next one. Ladies, you don't want a nigga that values his money over his wealth, over his health. You don't want a guy who values his money over his health. Um, I know in our culture, black American culture, we taught to hustle, right? We taught how to hustle, 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 hustle. You know what I mean? I'm gonna tell you, when I was younger, man, in my early 20s and shit, um, and I'm 37 now, so I'm looking back in retrospect. I used to just hustle hard. I would go hustle all day, hitting the streets, hustling, and I wouldn't eat, you know what I'm saying? I would, I would, I would eat the worst shit, I'm eating late at night, and eventually you're gonna tear yourself down doing that. You dig what I'm saying? You're gonna break your break yourself down doing that. Um, ladies, you don't wanna be with a dude who values the money over his health. 
I know we talk hustle, 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 but you gotta have some time every single day for your own health. You gotta have health, a health hour every day. If that means um, you walk for 20 minutes while listening to a podcast, or you know you get your workout in and you do 30 minutes, 30 minute workout, 30 minute journaling, you gotta do something for your health every single day. You dig? Mental health is important too. So you wanna make sure that you take care of your mental health. I've been the guy that made a lot of money, but I didn't value my mental health. And I was stressed out all the time and that's not a good situation. All right, next one is this, man. Let's see, so we had the Kanye persona with the Walmart budget. If you haven't done so already, like, share, subscribe. Do that for me, all right? Um, we had the values, money over health, the professional baby daddy, we got two more. Look, man, ladies. It's okay for a man to have uh, love for his mother, but some of these niggas are really son husbands. Stay away from the son husband. All of these are red flags. If you're smart enough, you'll see these red flags within the first couple of weeks to a couple of months, and you'll walk away from the dude. The problem is some of y'all see this shit in the first couple of weeks, first couple of months, and you give the nigga the benefit of the doubt. You see he's a professional baby daddy. And you're like, oh, he has a good heart. Um, you see that he's a mama's boy. Oh, he loves his mother. I'm going to tell you something. If his mother, if he's a son husband, and I'm talking about the type of moms that call their sons multiple times a day. Um, you know, she he can't make no decisions without his mother's, uh, his mother's um, guidance. Every fucking thing he does in his life is based upon his mom telling him to do it. You know what I'm saying? You meet his mother and she don't fuck with you based upon whatever. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, his mother, it feels like his mother is vowing more for her attention than you are. Man, that's the Oedipus complex for your motherfucking ass. You don't want to deal with no shit like that. Trust me. You know what I mean? Me and my wife just watched a movie called Monster-in-Law with J-Lo and Jane Fonda was the protagonist's mother. And uh, she was a lonely old woman with no man. So she treated her son like her husband. And a lot of moms do that shit. Um, it's very toxic. And ladies, you don't want that shit. You don't, when it's a relationship, you want it to be him and you. You don't want it to be him, you, and somebody else. You know what I'm saying? The last one is this. Ladies, stay away from Tony Simpin. T stay away from the simps. A nigga that simps is a dangerous nigga. I know you like to think that he just because he bought you this and he bought you that, um, he's being a nice guy. You got to be careful being around the guys who have no opinion. You dig? He has no opinion. Whatever you say goes. You might even emasculate him a little bit. And he takes it. You dig what I'm saying? Um, guys like this, I want y'all to understand this. Simps are fucking dangerous. They are dangerous. A simp, the only thing he really has, the only game he really has is when he pulls his money out of his wallet. He needs his wallet to feel some sense of self-worth. A man that uses only his wallet to get a sense of self-worth with his woman is a man who thinks he owns his woman. You understand what I'm saying? I had homegirls where they dated a simp nigga and it's goddamn seven, eight months later, they done broke up. And this nigga is uh, fucking stalking them, following them from work, following them home, watching my homegirl go on a date with another guy. He knocking on her door. You know what I'm saying? Like, dangerous. Understand that. Just because a nigga is quick to spend bread on you and he's simping, don't make him safe. You dig what I'm saying? So, ladies, stay away from these types, man. The Kanye Bassan Walmart budget. Values money over health, professional baby daddy, uh, mama's boy, and Tony Simpin. Stay away from those types, all right? Peace and love.